Let's say you have an app and you have multiple different pages. You have to start thinking about how we're going to organize the data so that you can provide the correct information to each page. Now in Flutter, the default way is to use set state to reflect any changes to the data. And set state pretty much just asks the app to rebuild the widget with the new change. But let's say our app is a little bit more complicated than that. Let's say we have a shop app and you can add items to the cart. So from the shop page, you can navigate to other pages like the individual item page or the cart page. Now it seems reasonable to have all the data at the top level in the shop page and pass them down to the next page as you need to. But as the app grows to multiple pages, what ends up happening is you get this sort of tree architecture. And this is bad for a few reasons. When a new change is made, because all of the data is controlled at the very top level, it may be expensive for the performance to rebuild the entire widget tree every time. Also, your code is gonna get very cluttered over time, and it's going to be difficult to see how the data is flowing through your app. So instead of this tree shape, let's just line up the pages side by side and create a separate layer called provider. And this can give each page whatever it needs, whenever it needs it. This will make your life so much easier as you scale up your app. Now I'm going to show you in code how to actually use provider. And to make it as clear as possible, I'm going to use the default counter app and show you how we can make the same app, but with provider. So just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app and this is giving us this home page and this is a stateful widget. So as you can see, this little bit of information, the counter starting at zero and we've got a method to increment the counter. And if we wanna make any changes, then you can see it's wrapped in a set state just to rebuild. Also, if I press this button, then we can increment it. Cool, so this set state is just going to rebuild the widget and like I said, this is how you would do it in a very simple app. Now, I just wanna show you how we can do this using provider. So first of all, let's go to our pubspec.yaml. And if you scroll down to the dependencies, I'm just gonna import provider and I'm just gonna leave the version number empty, which will get me the latest version. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a separate layer here called the counter model. So in here, we're gonna create a class and put all the counter related information in this class. So we had that count being zero. And let's also have the method to increment the counter. Cool, so if you come back to our home page, we wanna keep this just for the UI as much as possible and not much logic. So if I get rid of this, you can see there's gonna be some red squiggles because we have to provide that information to this UI, right? So if you come back to our class, we have to extend this to the change notifier. And anytime we make a change, like this method here to increment the counter, once we increment it, then we can notify the listener. So this will just let any widgets that need to update know. So just a couple more setting, setting up to do is we just need to come to the main.dart file and your entire app. So you can see in this run app, I'm gonna wrap this entire app here in a change notifier provider. And in this create, this is where you have to give it the model. So we're gonna give it the counter model and in the child, just give it our app. So we just wrapped the entire thing in change notifier provider. Cool, so now if I come back to my homepage UI, you can see the red squiggles because we have to give it the value of the counter, right? So if I wanna consume that information, then we're going to use a consumer widget. So if you just grab this scaffold, I'm gonna start typing consumer and we have to give it the type. So the counter model is what we're looking for. And then we can just build that UI here. So if you look carefully here, you got the context and then the value. So the value is the important bit of information. So value gives us access to everything in that model. So for example, we can say in the text, I want to display that counter. Let's say value dot count. And then we can just say convert it to a string. And same thing for the method. So let's say instead of just accessing an integer, I want to access that increment method. So first of all, let's get access to the model class. And then we're going to increment. So let's get the counter. We're going to say context.read the counter model. And then we can access the methods in here. So counter and you can see increment. Cool. So if you save this and rebuild it, it should behave the same way. And so 
basically again just to sum up what we did is we separated out the ui from any of the logic into this separate class and we're using provider to just provide the information that we need to whichever widget needs it at the time so this will make your life a lot easier when you have more and more pages and your app grows in size now if you want to see this provider used in in a bigger app i already made a few videos using this so videos like the grocery cart app and the coffee app i'll make sure to link them below so check them out so that you can see how it works in the context of a bit of a bigger code base but let me know if you have any questions i hope you learned something thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace